So to the hour two is going to be about e-portfolio creation and draft about me. However, for the sake of it making it uh, less and simple, in this video we are going to create just create an e-portfolio and the basics. So for that open up your e-portfolios you know how to go there through your you could either go through your my guardia or just simply uh, log into your e-portfolio my guardia or e-portfolio so my e e-portfolio was already open as you see i have plenty of e-portfolios however for the sake of this activity I will create from scratch uh, so I am going to click on this plus sign in the blue circle which as you see directly give, takes me and gives me uh, the create your e portfolio uh, feature so I'm going to my I'm, I'm going to write my full name and the class which is BTF 101 okay my full name and the BTF 101 so in the templates I'm going to choose business and technology as you see when I clicked on it give me the uh, white highlight around it and the blue underneath so I'm just gonna say create and while it creates it might take a while especially in a class environment that about 20 30 students open or create an, an e-portfolio and it might take even longer However, while it creates, uh, let's go through whatever inside uh, an e-portfolio, especially in this template. As you see, we have about me. About me is a must, and it is the the most common page for an e-portfolio. It could be a welcome page or a home page, but it's very important. And it is the uh, first page of ePortfolio. And uh, you see plan for success. And uh, as we scroll down, my coursework, scroll down. I'm just like going through uh, just the pages. Anyway, it's taking a while. However, just uh, because it has a lot, especially uh, <clears throat> plan for success is very important and has understand myself, uh, which is like SWOT analysis in this case, career planning, and it has it has um, its stages early, mid stage, and late stage, which is beginning of the semester mid semester and towards the end of the semester transfer planning uh, degree planning uh, co-curricular planning which is extra activities on top of classes you are taking okay making connections uh, my coursework the first year seminar uh, for business coursework college resources managing my time which is time management and assignments the class uh, you will be taking related to the major CBTM the intro to biz principles of accounting and it goes on okay the reason it, it's taking a while because the template is uh, uh, it's lots of features, it's covering 
all your schooling um, for the major all the classes it's been classified and uh, it's been under uh, it's been put under uh, the necessary uh, sub page and it just opened up uh, in here before I start doing anything let me just come back in here okay publish pages all pages you see everything gotta turn green so it can give me whole pages it's very important otherwise it's only gonna show the about me okay so also in here pri private to me so for the sake of um, CUNY uh, LaGuardia access I'm choosing this one private within CUNY LaGuardia also share with specific people groups or courses so edit I just go to let's say uh, you see this is a course uh, CUNY call between the parentheses choosing this one come down here pasting it and it finds the class this is the lab usually the lab has the extra number in my case 96 but which is 95 is the lecture you see this is a lecture so as soon as I type to search it automatically adds them as the viewer so this is the lab which is uh, the the main class uh, for the e-portfolio this is a lecture uh, this is non this is non lab class other than that if I want to share it with someone I can just write their email for example if I write my email you see it finds me or career services or someone else anyway I'm not gonna do that but uh, at least I must have four sections here faculty students for the lab which comes with the B code faculty and students for the lecture comes with the A other than that if if I think that I don't have anything to you know like uh, make it private I could just share it with the whole like you know make it public which is also in here you see when I click on it public but that's okay for the sake of this uh, um, practice we are just gonna leave it as it is and save settings so it's been saved you see business and technology core e-portfolio full name in here there's a lock but before that uh, we must pay undivided attention what's going on on the top on the right this is as soon as I hover but for the actions menu it's very important and in this one this is the lock the header section when I unlock it I click on the settings so I come here section options oh no actually it says section options okay that's weird uh, okay I just can't come back okay uh, module options however uh, let me come back in this one there's a different uh, um, approach to change the name first it's locked I unlock it then come here settings settings for the text module okay 
settings for the text module and click on the module options and write your name so since it is here business technology for portfolio I don't need to repeat it so it's just right there I'm just exiting it out so um, uh, the education e portfolio which comes with the Guardia uh, e-tools uh, automatically saves that so it is up it is up to us to, to publish it however uh, so whatever we, we we do the steps we take is being saved no worries okay unless it's, there's a glitch or just you know like many people logged into a portfolio like together in one lab or something but that's okay so to reiterate we have the open an e portfolio okay this is template we successfully open one we successfully wrote our name and most importantly we published all pages that's very important when we do that everything to the left of them pages green published and other than that in settings we shared it with the class the faculty professors and students okay and that's it congrats you have a you have a you have a website and a personal website that you can show your uh, work to the whole world enjoy the next one we will uh, work on about me section